Welcome to Pro Stitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I want to show you how to use the Repeat on Path feature. To start with, let's load a new design page. Select the Home tab and click on New. Next, I want to choose a design. It's very important when using the Repeat on Path that you use a continuous line design. So in the lower sidebar properties box, let's select the Design tab. And from the Designs folders, let's click on Continuous Line to open those ones. I picked a fun design to use. If we scroll down, we'll use this cone flower here, this single one. I'm going to click and drag it onto my design page to load it. The first step after loading a continuous line design is to convert it to artwork. Repeat on Path only works when your design is in artwork format. So to do that, the design must be selected first, then let's click on the Preview tab. From the Convert box, let's click on Artwork, and it will convert it back to artwork. I know that I want to size this design just a little bit smaller, so in the upper sidebar box, let's click on the Transform window, and I want to change the size of my design. First, I'm going to make sure that the Maintain Aspect Ratio is checked so that my design maintains that aspect as we change it. In the width, I'm going to type in a 1 and then click Apply. My design is now a nice size to work with, with the Repeat on Path feature. Next, let's go back to the Tools tab and draw our path. From the Draw Tools, let's select the Curve. And you can have a little fun with this path. There's a lot of different paths that you can draw, pretty much an endless number. Let's just draw a fun little path here. A nice curving path. When I finish the curved path that I want, I can right click or hit enter on my keyboard to finish that line. Next, I need to select both of my designs. So let's come over to the Quick Access Tools and click on the Select tool. Right now, I only have the path selected, but we need to select both. So I'm going to click up here and draw a large box that includes both of the designs. This will select both of them. Under the Tools tab, we're going to come down to the Create box and select Repeat on Path. The Repeat on Path dialog box will open, and I can go ahead and click OK. And I have a design that is repeated on that fun path that I created. Now here's a little tip. Sometimes we do want to keep that path that we've created in, this, in the design, but on this one, I think I want to eliminate that. So to eliminate that path, let's come over here to the Sequence tab in the lower sidebar Properties box. And I'm just going to do a click to unselect. And then I want to select just that line so that is the second item here in the sequence view. So I'll click on that to select it, and then do a right click and choose delete. I've now removed that line, and I will be able to just have these cute cone flowers quilt out on this fun path that I created. I am looking forward to seeing what you all do with Repeat on Path.